Hello, everyone. Welcome to TASTA's webinar. In this webinar, I am very proud that I can introduce you to the company Imtradex. Why? Because Imtradex is compared to our other partners and vendors a little bit, you know, unique. Um, they are focusing only on accessories. And that brings us to a point that it makes our ecosystem even much wider to use so many different kind of maybe also other devices which you would like to use and but in a professional and a critical communication you might not be able. Today I have with me uh, Benjamin. Hi Benjamin. Hello Kavi. Nice to have you. Same for me. Thanks for the invitation. Always welcome. Benjamin, tell us a little bit about your position and the company Imtradex to give a little bit uh, some ideas. Yes, uh, sure. Uh, my name is Benjamin. I'm um, head of business development here uh, since uh, about uh, three and a half years now. Um, Intradex itself is um, headset manufacturer since uh, over 25 years uh, in the German, uh, but also in the global market. We have a, a market leading position in light headsets, for example, in the air traffic management sector. Uh, where we are over 100 countries already delivered with uh, our lightweight headsets and our push-to-talk buttons. Uh, as well as we have um, a, a very strong um, record here in Germany as well um, with headsets for the public safety areas um, with uh, PDT buttons um, and so on for nearly any radio and uh, any other communication device which is out there in the market. Yeah, over 25 years uh, on the market, so that's uh, quite huge and very, very impressive. Um, so for that reason, I believe that uh, your company is doing many things right. Um, and um, so show us a little bit um, what, what, what you are doing, what keeps you, you know, <laughs> so long. <laughs> yeah, what, what keeps us so long in the market is, I think, uh, also the flexibility we have here. Um, to adapt to the different uh, market situations, to the different um, innovative products, uh, which was formed back in, in 2006, the start of Tetra, uh, and which will now uh, will go into the um, 5G, 4G, or LTE area uh, in the communication sector, including um, mobile devices and uh, push to talk like Tesla. Yeah. And, uh, uh, that's definitely um, uh, uh, come in the next years, um, and that's I think what we see also with uh, Tasta rising and rising and rising over the past years. And um, yeah, uh, what what we do in the in this area, we can split up um, into the dispatching, and we can split up in the end device uh, communication parts. Um, when we start with uh, for example, the dispatching, um, we are working also with command and control rooms uh, over Germany and worldwide. So um, the way of bringing that uh, into the tester application is uh, quite short, and that's uh, very good for all of the end users in the end. Um, yeah. Here we have um, our USB, unique USB portfolio, uh, which is our own development, uh, which we have since uh, about five years running like it is now mm -hmm. and bringing here a strong um, a long time uh, options uh, also with not having changes in any USB technology and whatever. Um, accessories means in, um, in uh, your uh, definition is not only about let's say accessories for uh, the devices right so we are talking uh, also about, uh, yeah, which you mentioned, the command and control centers. Um, that means, uh, yeah, you have your own uh, USB portfolio, um, and USB is typically connected to, um, yeah, to a, to, a, uh, to a computer station. Exactly. But not limited and, to that, for sure. And uh, what kind of, um, okay, just introduce us a little bit. Uh, let us start with the, uh, uh, command and control centers and the yeah the devices which are US this or USB portfolio because you just mentioned it. So yes. what is so unique about it and what kind of options do we have? For uh, our USB portfolio, um, 
the first thing uh, which makes us very unique is uh, we have the ability to bring or we have any device from us has an own serial number which means it is an own device it is one a unique device which can be connected to a desktop station or to whatever USB connection uh, is available and uh, it would be shown as this only device we are talking here about uh, the opportunities which um, come with um, desk microphones in different ways, uh, which brings a, a high stability on a, on a desk with a high volume uh, for the user. Um, like I can show you one here. Um, this is the TM3, for example. We have a volume control. We have a PTT button uh, below here, uh, which can be used then. We have a, a flexible microphone, mm -hmm. uh, which, can be, uh, which can be spoken from a wide area. So even like this, we have here uh, approximately 20 centimeters. Uh, it's therefore uh, made. The technology brings a, a clear and um, a, a clear communication, a clear uh, transmission of of the speech, even yeah. while uh, on on distance. And uh, uh, that's one area with the desk microphones. Then we have also the ability to have our lightweight headsets. Um, and our PDT task is used. Yeah, when I just, um, for me, uh, for understanding, okay, you mentioned something that um, the devices has a unique number. What does that mean? I mean, I imagine there is a computer, I connect it over USB to that accessory. Um, mm -hmm. What is the reason for this unique number or how do I uh, use that number? So the, the uniqueness of this number is uh, the, the part when you uh, plug our headset, for example, let, let, let's take this headset. This is a standard yeah. headset uh, which you can use. You have a USB um, adapter here, USB-A, and a PTT button in the middle of it, uh, which, uh, which brings the option for push to talk. When you plug in this headset to this PC, you make your own um, volume control levels. Because okay. you have uh, maybe maybe uh, uh, you need a higher volume because of uh, some hearing uh, things or whatever, and you bring uh, you plug it out, and another one of these headset types will come into this PC. Usually, okay. what happens the old ex the existing volume control um, uh, settings will be adjusted to the new headset, which is basically the same headset. When, when we're talking about standard um, business office line headsets or whatever. And okay. with that, every headset is unique. So every headset will be will have its uh, own volume control settings. Yeah. And if you have a headset per user, okay. it will not, they will not come and need to turn off, turn on the volumes in, in their manner or something like that. Okay, That's that it. means uh, yeah. that the idea is um, that um, it is, yeah, I can control the volume or control that device unique. Uh, I mean, uh, especially uh, in my in my settings. And it's not that, for instance, I reduce the media sound uh, and then automatically my device has also reduced volume and is disappearing in the same environment. Okay, no. I understood. Good, I understood and, totally. And what, uh, when, when we talk about a mission critical area, um, yeah. It's maybe it's maybe also needed to have an uh, to make sure with, who was connected to it. So if a headset yeah. is connected and the uniqueness of this headset is is belonging to one person, you have the yeah. ability to check which headset was connected at that time when this happens, for example. Okay, and that information is available on the log files. Yes. Okay. This will nice. this will bring the the USB device with it. Yes. Okay, so that means, uh, yeah, with that one, everybody has his own identity. So I have uh, this device, but you give it, let's say, to everyone has his own accessory because of uh, hygienic uh, issues also. And, uh, and yes, yes. And, and with that one, we can say, okay, it was you or it was me. And if I say it was not me, and they said, oh, no, no, the numbers is. <laughs> For example, nice. this is possible then, yes. Okay, perfect. Good. Exactly. So, um, yeah, we, we go then further what I already uh, showed to you. 
Uh, we have also yep. our lightweight headsets, um, which will be uh, turn up a microphone uh, for. This is a one-sided headset where you can use um, where you have one ear free. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, we also have those ones uh, in the dual-sided versions. We can use it in a stereo manner. Um, uh, we can uh, have it in mono. So this is everything. This is a very high flexibility which we provide um, then into this market, um, which is basically one of our main areas uh, where we have a, a, a huge demand for lightweight headsets and uh, building them in very different uh, ways um, with different microphones for different areas. For example, um, when we are in a very loud environment, uh, the yeah. microphone, uh, even if you use noise cancelling microphones, what we have here already in, might be coming to their, um, to their end or to to let's say where the uh, environment will be still very loud in the transmission. Uh, we can also okay. put a dynamic microphone here uh, into the into the game and uh, having a much more reduced um, environment or environmental um, noise. And all these accessories are coming with a PDT button, right? Or is it? Uh... Yeah. yeah. Yes. We also have the op uh, the opportunity to have it directly connected, but um, the handling, um, including a, a PTT button like this, uh, which is a pistol grip one, um, which you have uh, very common in your in your hands, here's the PTT button. Um, you have uh, the ability of different uh, options like a belt clip, which you can see here. Yeah. Uh, to stow it away if you're, uh, for example, need to get up because you need to see anything out of the window, for example. Uh, we have also the opportunity to have an, a, a loop uh, for the neck where you can just put it put it on on your front on your chest uh, to have it at, at a firm grip when you need it uh, to speak into it exactly okay. and um, we have different uh, options here we have uh, this one is called our pt 13. Uh, we have also another option which is called our pt 19 which is a different handling uh, style uh, but uh, both of them are very common in um, the command and control area. That means I I can uh, decide if I want to have this headset, what you mentioned, with this bigger PTT button or with a smaller yeah. one. Uh, so this, exactly. uh, it's, there are different options available. Exactly. And also from the flexibility, like, uh, for example, uh, cleaning in a headset might be not that easy as cleaning, for example, a PTT button. Uh, often uh, they have also uh, something to um, to disconnect in between here between those two things. Um, there we also have uh, plenty of options uh, like what is probably already uh, known, like this quick disconnect uh, things from uh, Plantronics or from uh, Chapra or something like that. We also bring that in here. We have also our own uh, connector which we use commonly. Uh, to bring to have the opportunity for the for the user to use a one-sided headset or even use a dual headset, depending mm -hmm. on how is the user um, behaving. Uh, do we need some open ear um, or not, or even changing different headset style? Yeah. This one, this one is a is a neck band. Uh, this one is a headband version. We also yeah. have opportunities uh, for neck band versions. For example, lightweight versions, uh, even for in-ear things, or um, on-ear uh, on a neckband style. There's a huge so means, uh, flexibility. Yeah. Uh, so um, all this. Uh, so you you are following. Okay, there are two different kind of versions. One is, um, I mean, all of them are USB, right? Uh, so they are connected to, a, let's say, to a, yeah. Uh, uh, computer, <laughs> yeah. and 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 uh, but you have the options to have different kind of uh, PDT and different kind of let's say a headset. Even in the headset, you have the option to say, okay, you want to have this dynamic mic or this uh, this this um, a noise cancellation uh, or something like that. So it's a uh, very very uh, special. Um, may I ask, how does it work with the delivery time? I mean, if does it influence the delivery time significantly <laughs> or what is uh, the average delivery time let's say <laughs> the average delivery time is uh, let's say about eight weeks actually so this is yeah. a very long uh, 
time for most of the users which are commonly uh, used to have a delivery time like from Amazon or some stock headsets yeah. from somewhere else um, about yes. USB. Um, yeah. yeah. Yes, that might be long. Um, we uh, provide some uh, smaller quantities uh, will be available usually on stock. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is very much depending on the product. Like what I said, the desk microphone, for example, is a running product which will be available at least in certain smaller quantities uh, all the time uh, usually. Yeah. But yeah, you know, sometimes they are uh, you run out and then it takes some time again. That's, uh, yes. That's how it yes. And uh, what, what you already said, we have a very high flexibility. Uh, we have uh, huge uh, opportunities, but this means also huge options. And therefore, bringing devices on, on stock is quite hard um, yeah. for any customer. Because uh, in the end, it's, it's just slightly different between that and that. And uh, you would like to have that one, but this is not on stock. So um, yeah, that's nice. That's the life with us here. Yes, yes. I mean, if it's about customization, right? I mean, uh, exactly. it is. Uh, so if a, a company or let's say an end user is uh, ordering that device according to his requirements so it's unique and he cannot purchase it on amazon or anywhere else because this is what he gets usually um and so now, now let us come to your uh, devices uh, to your uh, devices for the mobile users yes sure uh, from from our mobile users, we participate on um, the the knowledge we have in the radio business market uh, since yeah. over 25 years. Uh, for example, I have I have one device here uh, with me. It's it's called our PPT8. It's a very big um, uh, uh, push to talk button uh, where you have just connected a 3.5 millimeter cable. Uh, in this yeah. case, which we can then. Um, very easily connected uh, to a smartphone. Uh, what we have here is a Samsung one, um, where we put it just put it in there. So uh, pressing the PPT button will uh, open up um, yep. the uh, the channel here. Um, on uh, on the other side, uh, you can find a, a clothing clip. Yeah, put it at at your side. At this one here is. Just for me, it's wrong. Yeah. So, but uh, we have uh, um, we have those options available um, on on this one. So also there is a high flexibility. But on this one, we have the standard 3.5 millimeter, uh, 6.5, 6.35 millimeter jack, uh, which is called more uh, mostly Nexus connector or TB100, uh, 120, uh, which is very okay. commonly in the in the public safety area. Uh, but also known for from other vendors, uh, which uh, where they use, or even in the military market. Um, therefore, we have uh, the opportunity to connect a wide area of headsets to it. Um, okay. For example, we have um, uh, also here lightweight headsets uh, to connect. I can show them uh, to you. This is one one of the lightweight headsets where we use. Uh, you have a uh, here you connect um, a small um, um, in ear uh, part, uh, which belongs then to the ear, which you can put directly into your ear, which makes uh, one ear, um, which can be made one ear closed, or um, yeah. you have an, an open source still there where you can uh, where you can bring the loudspeaker in. And on the other side, uh, it's open, so you still have the ability to uh, to hear your surroundings. Um, also, there we have the ability different microphones like uh, everywhere else. So it's uh, mm -hmm. also this. Uh, it's very hard. Or we can also speak about um, uh, bigger frequencies like the seven two D ones, which we can see here. Okay, where you can put on. Uh, for when you are in loud environments to reduce um, the noises around. Yeah. You have also um, the standard microphone here is an electric microphone which works perfectly uh, with the smartphone uh, then. And also there with the with the ability of the different um, plugs 
So you still have the same the same PDT. Yeah. Different headsets. So also there's a wide variety of opportunities. So it depends uh, in which industry uh, the end user is, and then um, it's it's going to let's say different exactly. kind of microphones or headsets and so on. Exactly. We have we have made a, over the years we have made a very special uh, portfolio for each industry uh, where we are working in. Um, this means like uh, the industrial side. Uh, where we have those heavy duty headsets or even some lightweight headsets while using helmets uh, yeah. where you cannot uh, connect the headset to or uh, you don't like to connect the headset to. Uh, there are options. Um, also, we have some very special uh, portfolio for our uh, firefighting areas. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. which is also um, when we talk about mission critical communication, also some opportunities here. Uh, to connect, um, uh, it's called our Fire Talk. Yeah, uh, it's a very special headset for fire brigades. Also certified to um, EN four four three regulations, and uh, we are working here with the manufacturer for having the right headset connection, uh, the uh, helmet connection for the headset mm -hmm. available. So also there is a, a high flexibility. And um, so. Uh, uh, what about Bluetooth? Are you offering also um, something with Bluetooth? Because whatever, I mean, all the things what you mentioned right now are wired. So wireless yes. is also in the portfolio? Yes, uh, we have one uh, one of our products it's called the Blue Talk, uh, which is basically, or which was developed in conjunction with uh, the uh, federal police in Germany, uh, or which was the starting point to, um, uh, to deliver such products. Uh, we have made some upgrades. It's uh, the Bluetalk 2.0 uh, where we are talking here to. Uh, the Bluetalk 2 is also available for the connectivity here. Um, it's yeah. developed for an, uh, um, uh, the, 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 um, the original development was done for the police forces which uh, use such products undercover. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have um, opened up the, the um, technology a little bit to use the PDT button, um, to also have external PDT buttons to use with the Blue Talk uh, to connect to um, applications, uh, to the TASTA application, for example. There, and yeah. for this, it, you can, you can um, imagine it's like a, a Bluetooth dongle where okay. you can connect on top um, uh, any headset again, what we have. Okay, okay, so principally, um... Yeah, I'm, I'm. So it's like there is an adapter, uh, yes. or like a connector. Yeah, a Bluetooth connector uh, exactly. on on the accessories which you have, which uh, gives them the ability uh, to be to run wireless to the device. But actually, it is still a little bit wired <laughs> to, yes. to reach to reach that uh, Bluetooth connector. Yes. Okay. Yes. Good. But you are not, but you are not connected to the phone, um, so yeah. you have no wires when you like put the phone on on your hand because you need to do any um, uh, any work on on the phone itself. So there is no wiring um, disturbing. Yeah, no, that's nice because um, what I mentioned also in the beginning, it's good to have uh, all these kind of accessories that um, because many many of the users they already have devices. And so they don't want to go maybe that direction, at least immediately to purchase new devices uh, for mission critical that has an yeah. own PDT button. They are rugged and may maybe with an emergency button. So they can say, you know what, we work in the initially with bring your own device. And yes. um, we use, yes, even we have very high flexibility from Intradex uh, to get the accessories. And uh, from that point of view, um, yeah, it's it's a good um, it's a good concept. I like it. Yeah, because it's it's it's, it's starting the way. Because it, investing in devices is actually quite expensive, but accessories are still in a usual you know usually affordable environment somehow. <laughs> somehow, yeah. <laughs> Without knowing your prices in detail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are we are talking here about a, a very 
very unique portfolio, what you already said, it's a very wide portfolio, uh, which uh, brings um, the user a high, a very high flexibility in the end uh, with one vendor. And that's, uh, that's the point here uh, where we um, can go for or where we are going for uh, anyway, uh, because this is our, our strategy uh, for the yeah. market, bringing, bringing a wide area to the customer. And uh, this is also, uh, when we talk about the area of the dispatch, we have different opportunities, even while using some uh, Aurelis units, which is a remote speaker, uh, which can be connected on a USB-C level onto a phone, which is like your desk, for example. Um, also, this is possible. So there's no, uh, there's no end for it, let me say. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, this, this flexibility is, I believe, key. Uh, we have, I mean, you know that we have together also right now a project uh, where you are creating a unique uh, piece of uh, accessory for that customer, which is running then in combination with standard uh, mobile devices and uh, yeah, our application. And, um, and that is, yeah, I agree with you. And uh, that's the reason why uh, we like, uh, we like to work with you because it's, uh, it's the same philosophy, which we are following that we say, okay, we want to provide the customers a 100% solution and not the 90%. So we don't want we don't want that. So we just want to go to the end and make the best or nothing. And for that reason um, it's it's a yeah, it's, we are very happy that or I am personally very happy that a company like yours exists and uh, is offering to the market uh, such a high flexibility. So um, Benjamin, uh, can you tell us a little bit, is it possible to say maybe or not? I don't know. Um, do, I mean, you did a lot of stuff in 2020. So what are the plans for 21 or 22? Do you, can you say something like that? Or you could, you say, no, it depends always to the, you know, um, let's say customization or to the customer requirements or uh, is it, possible to say, okay, what you are going to do in 21 and 22, what makes your pro products maybe more unique? A, a little bit, uh, sure. Um, what, what we have, what, what you already said, and that's uh, totally right, the um, market is gaining the attention from us. So um, I cannot, or it basically for uh, manufacturers like, like us, uh, also in this uh, size, uh, but also in this market, especially in this market, it's not it's not that easy to create a, a very big uh, innovative product uh, without being in, in close contact with the customer um, when you have the customer you're creating the customization options for them you create new um, uh, devices for them uh, but the main goal is then how can you um, how can you bring that into a, a huge market mm. for sure I think uh, for anybody um, who's doing business, uh, the, the question. So uh, what, what we do um, is uh, for sure the push to talk over cellular accessory. It's just starting this year. As you already said, we're now uh, gaining the first uh, traction here uh, in Germany with uh, two customers uh, where we place those accessories in. And uh, this will be uh, one from, at least from a marketing perspective, uh, the goal to bring those uh, products wider into the market uh, to make them more present yeah and th this is for sure the first ability uh, starting at the end already at 2020 uh, but this would be one goal for 21 uh, as well but also um, which will be for mission critical users uh, some kind of yeah. interesting uh, we are working on a, a new development where we combine wired um, radio accessories with a Bluetooth connectivity uh, okay. into one phone. So having a remote, at, at this uh, position, it's a remote speaker mm -hmm. uh, where we combine a Bluetooth opportunity uh, into it. So you can uh, directly connect um, a, a smartphone to it. Hearing, yeah. uh, for example, um, when we talk about a TASTA application, push to talk button is available for the TASTA application. And, but you still have the ability to use um, your radio on the, uh, on, the, on the belt. Yeah. Because maybe it's a fallback situation or uh, whatever it is, 
um, and uh, you have a, an analog system running, you have an, a Tetra system running or whatever. Uh, this is one, uh, one goal where we are working on um, at the moment. So this will be uh, available uh, as an, let's say, demo product uh, at, the, at the beginning of next year, um, probably end of Q1 uh, planned for. And okay. um, yeah, we also provided um, uh, from a lightweight perspective, uh, we have a new headset um, in development or just released end of this year, um, where we go for then uh, for next year. Lighter, but more stable. Um, our ad hoc 5000 headset is this. Nice. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds good, Benjamin. And um, for, from my point of view, okay, I'm uh, quite convinced, uh, I was, but I was it before. Uh, so tell me, uh, how, how does it work if somebody is watching this webinar and said, okay, I'm interested to get in touch uh, with Intradex or um, uh, how does it work? Um, how, is, how do you sell? principally or your company is selling and maybe you can also um, say a few words about the service because it's a piece of hardware so that means um, if something is not working properly it can happen always uh, but how is the process let's say yeah uh, so if uh, hopefully uh, a lot of people looking for uh, the webinars uh, from you uh, so um, we have uh, what what we do is uh, we're basically selling uh, globally uh, our products. Uh, we are working in um, uh, globally. Uh, we're working with different uh, partners uh, on a, a country level usually. Um, so uh, the the easiest thing is if you don't know um, or if the end user don't know how to get them, he can go directly to us. Um, mm -hmm. You can ask for uh, what he's looking for. Uh, you can go via our homepage. Every every information is there. Uh, we are also available on LinkedIn, Facebook, uh, or wherever they would like to contact us. And uh, we will then reach out to them uh, immediately uh, with our sales teams here in um, from Dreieich, Germany, near close to Frankfurt. And uh, we have also, uh, from, from let's say, maybe also talking from a, a lingual perspective, uh, we also have the ability on, on uh, very different um, uh, speeches uh, to talk to the customers um, so there should be um, a very good and easy communication uh, for all of them uh, in the end and if we can uh, provide a partner for them uh, in the respective country we will do so yeah. uh, if not we basically do it uh, then mostly direct okay uh, so um, yeah. So the in initial contact would be really, um, yeah, to try to reach out over the web page, and and then um, um, yeah, depends to the requirements. Um, I mean, yes, if it is a very unique, I believe, uh, requirement, it need to be handled by yourself because uh, uh, it it needs also product design and so on. And um, if it is, let's say, more a standard uh, portfolio um, uh, issue. Then it's possible to forward that customer to one of your partners. Depends to the region. Exactly, because uh, from our industries where we are working, and we have also working in in a different region with different partners for different uh, industries. Uh, okay. Because the ATM sector where we are uh, uh, very strong uh, is not the same when you're working with public safety. So yeah. um, also from from that perspective, there's also some some differences. Sometimes we have then direct contact to one of the customers. On the other hand, um, we have a partner in between. So this is very much uh, depending. But when okay. we get partners, also, also this is maybe something. Um, when we get uh, also new partners who would like to work with us uh, in terms of uh, push to talk, um, accessories uh, in this area, uh, we are also keen to have them um, because it's, uh, it's also a very uh, important uh, part where we think um, that uh, it's strategic uh, for the next years. Okay. Oh, perfect. Um, thank you for the information. Uh, did we forget something, Benjamin? Or I'm really. I think uh, we have covered hopefully the most. And uh, what uh, what's the desire of this webinar is to make some to bring some interest uh, into the area uh, of 
um, push to talk accessories uh, for yeah. the test application. So this is uh, hope this was hopefully done, and um, we have a huge flexibility here. And uh, I think until now we uh, haven't had so much where we need to regret that we cannot do that. So. Um, yeah, I believe so too. We we gave the perfect overview, and uh, we wanted to highlight uh, your strengths um, in in the push to talk environment. That it's very clear, okay, uh, what you are capable to do, and uh, yeah, it's everything is running anyway. We are yeah, we are also you are sitting in Germany, so that makes it uh, for us uh, also easier to communicate with you and to organize things because. Uh, principally, we speak the same language, and yeah. um, and uh, so for that reason, yeah, we we like to cooperate with you, and we we, we are doing it uh, right now in many different kind of projects, and um, yeah, it's uh, I I believe um, we could we, we gave a good overview, and everything is running perfectly in yeah integration of software and hardware because the ecosystem need to be uh, need to be connected. Otherwise, um, yeah, the the best software is useless. The best hardware is useless if you know you cannot bring them together and, and make a solution out of it. Exactly. So the main goal is to bring uh, the customer the solution uh, together, and uh, that's what you already mentioned. Is uh, we are quite near together. It's uh, very easy to communicate, and uh, we are also very happy and very proud to be part of this uh, here. That's uh, thanks for the invitation here. Uh, again, and, uh, uh, we are really looking forward for the next year. Then, yeah, more than welcome. So, thank you very much. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this webinar and could get some uh, I good ideas because you know um, it's it's very unique what Imtradex is doing here, and uh, yeah, we appreciate it. And that because many customers we see they have uh, unique requirements, and we cannot fulfill them with standard products out of the from from the shelf uh, from the market yeah as you mentioned from amazon or whatever so we need here um, professional devices because we are talking about uh, professional users and in the mission critical communication and we are also what i would say always is we are responsible that the tools which we are giving to the users to make uh, us safe around the globe need to work so we, we as a vendor, we are uh, as a solution provider, we are carrying responsibility. And for that reason, uh, yeah, thank you very much, Benjamin. It was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you, Swabi. It was my pleasure as, as well. Stay safe. See you soon. Bye. Same to you. Thank you. Bye.